Now it's time for entertainment news with Jay Cruz. Sponsored by Gotti Martin on JustGotHit.com. <clears throat> All right, welcome back here to Morning After, everyone. I'm Ron Corning along with Yolanda Williams. Jenny has the day off. We're talking entertainment news yes. with Jay Cruz and appropriate to kick it off with Janet Jackson because yes. that's what we're talking with this song because that's what we're talking about. All right, Jay Cruz is joining us live from his studio at DD in the morning, and we're going to listen to this clip and watch this right. clip from the documentary, which premieres um, on Friday on Lifetime and A&E. Let's take a look, and then we'll talk about it. Brandy <laughs> and Mike. Mother, how do you feel talking about Mike? I can't. <laughs> how would you describe your relationship with men? <laughs> it was a magic relationship if it didn't hurt so much. I was just incredibly innocent. I didn't need a Janet Jackson to amplify my life, but I feel like it did. I haven't given up on love. So this promises to be one of the most transparent and insightful documentaries about not just Janet Jackson, but as you saw there, the Jackson family as well. So Jay Cruz, what are your thoughts on this? Let's start with the overall, sort of the overall reaction people are getting to these early clips. Yeah, so we even talked about it earlier today on the radio show. So it, and it's from her perspective, because, you know, sometimes people make documentaries about artists, but they're not involved in it. Janet is actually hands on in this documentary. She even says a little bit further in that clip, this is her truth, but take it or not. And some people are saying, you know, when you have control over your own documentary, is it actually going to be that truthful? Um, I don't think she has anything to hide. I think the woman is an icon. And here, I mean, she talks about being molested. She talks about her marriage. She talks about everything in this documentary. Plus, there's a lot of old footage of her being a child that has never been seen before. Uh, it premieres this Friday and Saturday. It's a four-hour event, two and two. So two hours on Friday, two hours on Saturday. Uh, it, it's on Lifetime, A&E. It looks good. Man. Can I say how much her and Michael sound alike? Every time yes. I hear her talk, all I hear is Michael. They have the identical voice when they talk. They but I, I'm looking forward to it. I mean, it, it, it coincides with her uh, 40th anniversary of her first album. So this was pre-planned. It's been planned for five years. It, it's looking like this is going to be a documentary of a life. life I think of a so, lifetime. too. No, no pun intended. <laughs> on Lifetime, four hours, two right. nights, mm -hmm. uh, beginning on Friday. All right, now, you would think that Yolanda was a consultant on this film <laughs> and that she may have actually, <laughs> she may have actually helped Janet come to some uh, conclusions she, about her own life that she hadn't <laughs> even thought of. No, oh, do you want to jump well, in you here, know, girl? Here's my Reader's Digest version. You know, okay. the, the Jackson family, they're super private. They are black royalty in the black community. They, they never air their dirty laundry. If anything, they're always trying to keep everything hidden. So this is a big deal for her to speak out. People in the right. industry are very surprised that Janice doing this, uh, Justin Timberlake, this whole, we're going to find about that whole thing, because that was 2004. Well, that's interesting, the Justin Timberlake part of this, because I think it's kind yeah. of not a secret that they'll address it mm. how will they address it what is their relationship like because there was a double standard she was essentially you know blacklisted Come from the now. industry yeah, she was and he yeah. sort of got a pass and it was just a he said she said about how that was supposed to end yeah how that yeah. whole wardrobe malfunction came to be um what are our thoughts on that is there going to be any collateral damage to justin timberlake or is this just an opportunity for him to address <sighs> it and be transparent again you know, to this day, Justin will still get some bad publicity about that whole situation. Like, people that weren't aware of what happened, they go, they do their homework, and then they're like, well, I don't like how Justin handled that, right? Because he, like, cut himself away from her and all this. Now, this is a big part of the documentary. Like, one of the main pitches is that Justin is in it, and mm -hmm. he does address it. So I, I'm waiting to hear what he says. And um, it, there's, there's so many celebrities in this. Mariah Carey... Uh, Whoopi, Samuel, Missy Elliott, mm -hmm. the name goes on. And yes, they are such a private family for her to do this. It's like it's raising a lot of eyebrows. I think they may be pitching it on the Justin Timberlake angle, but I think there's going to be far more. Yes, yes. we're going to find out some yeah. things about Michael and her relationship. To read her. between the lines yeah. that are more nuanced that we're going to walk away with. with and, I, and I think we'll judge for ourselves based on how it's right. presented. Is she right. being truthful? How much is she, is she really sharing? It's going to be really and, interesting. And, 
that was the question. Like, when you have control over your own documentary, are yeah. you actually going to expose yeah. everything? And, yeah, she also talked about Michael used to call her some pretty nasty names, yeah, and that messed with her self-esteem. So it's going to be interesting. Yeah, it sure is. I think it's going to be one of those rare events in TV these days where we're going to see um, a lot of people hunker down watching it in real time on Friday, not waiting for on demand or recording it, Jay Cruz. And we'll, we'll have something to talk about next week as well related to it. Thank you so much. Good to see you as always. You can check out Jay Cruz, of course, on K104 FM. And we want to thank Godsey Martin for being a sponsor of Entertainment News with Jay Cruz. Go to their website, ijustgothit.com.